Hello everyone, I am so excited to be back with another Wreck This Journal video. It feels like it's been a while. I guess it kind of has been. So, today I've got three pages to share with you. The first is pour, spill, drip, spit, fling your coffee here. So what I did was take some coffee grounds and I put them in a mug and then I boiled a little bit of water and I poured that on top of them and then I let that sit for a while to let it sort of steep and I was hoping to get a bit of a darker color than this but what you see me painting with now is kind of the darkest color I was able to get which is pretty good I'm pretty happy with it considering it is coffee and I am just painting with coffee on this page. I didn't cheat and use anything like watercolor or something that looks similar to coffee. I just went in with the coffee and I decided to do a wolf howling at a moon on the left side and then sort of a forest scene on the right side. So it's just a bunch of little pine trees and I decided to go with the wolf mostly because my boyfriend really loves wolves and he also really loves coffee so it was a good way to combine those two things and he did really like this page when I shared it with him and also my book still smells like coffee. It has been a couple of weeks since I actually painted this page and it still smells like coffee. Um, so what I did to get the lighter colors was just dip the paintbrush in a bit more water before dipping into the coffee again. And I did go over the wolf twice to try to make it a little bit darker. And that did seem to work. He is definitely the darkest part of the page. And I wanted it to look like a silhouette style. Obviously it's not as dark as if I had done a black silhouette. But I still think it came out pretty good overall. The forest was difficult to get the variety of shades with. I started with the lightest color towards the back. And then I worked my way to the darkest color in the front. So that was the most challenging part of this. Also, the coffee takes a lot longer to dry than watercolors take to dry. So just be aware of that, I guess. And I'm not sure if you can tell in this clip, but you'll be able to see in the next one that when the page was wet you could see the words on the next page through it but once the page itself had dried completely that was not a problem anymore so don't worry about that if you plan on doing something like this with your coffee page and this is the final result i was very happy with it The next page we are going to do is lose this page, throw it out, accept the loss. Well, I'm not really doing that with this page because I wanted to use this page as a test page for what I plan to do on the next page that you will see. Um, why am I using this page as a test page instead of the actual test page in the book? Well, this page is black, and the test page that it gives you in the book is just the paper color. And the page I am going to be doing is black, so I needed to test it on a page that was also black. So I will be using this page as a test page for several different things before I do throw it out. So the actual page that I needed to test for was the scratch using a sharp object page. So as you can see, I am just taking these oil pastels that I've had for a really long time. I think I bought them for my high school AP art class and I still have them and I really don't use them for anything because I don't really like them. Um, they do blend pretty well together but I don't, I don't like the way the pastels feel to use, at least not the oil ones. I very much so prefer chalk pastels. 
but I just covered the entire page with a sort of rainbow pattern starting from the middle going outwards and now I am painting over this with a mixture of black acrylic paint and Dawn dish liquid. And I learned how to do this from watching a So Craftastic video. So if you want more information on DIY scratch art, you should definitely check out her video on this. I will link So Craftastic's video in the description box. Um, but basically you just mix those two things, paint over the colors, and then wait for it to dry. And as you can see, I am using a toothpick to scratch off at the page, and I am making sort of a mandala pattern coming out from that top right corner. I think this would work if you used crayons as well, but I'm not sure how well it would work if you used something like colored pencils or markers. I didn't do a full test of that since I was planning on using the oil pastels and they didn't show up extremely brightly on the black paper. This would definitely look nicer if this page had been just the paper color, but overall it didn't turn out too bad considering I did just color over the page with the pastels and then paint over it. And I did only need one coat of the paint mixture in order to cover the page. The toothpick was a little bit hard to work with. It definitely would be easier if you had a longer skewer or just something that you could grip better, like a kebab skewer or something like that. But all I had was the toothpick, so that is what I used. I'm probably going to use some sort of sealant on this page because the pastel and the paint could rub off really easily and I want it to last for a long time. And if you make a mistake, you can use the paint to correct it afterwards. And I did do some touch-ups off camera. And I also just scratched off the section that had the prompt of scratch using a sharp object. So I didn't go all the way down the page with the mandala. So this is the final result and I really like the way it turned out. I like the pattern and I like the colors and I like that you can still read the prompt. The next page is Drip Something Here, Ink, Paint, Tea, Close the Book to Make a Print. So I decided to go with ink. I just bought this Higgins ink for Inktober. I am participating in Inktober. If you would like to follow my Inktober project, you can check out my Instagram. So for the page, all I did was literally what the prompt says. I dripped the ink onto the page and I made a print. I do plan on adding to this page later on, but I want to know first what everybody thinks the ink blot looks like before I finish it to be how I think it would look like. So let me know in the comments what you see in the ink blot. And that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have another video up soon, so I will see you then. Bye!